Hola gente de la internet, ¿cómo están? En este vídeo quiero presentarles al doctor Ahmed Laisi, el inventor de este dispositivo. Si es un tema que le interese, quédese por aquí. Esta entrevista del, que vamos a hacer sobre FRIMC y FILE al doctor Ahmed Laisi la voy a hacer en inglés para todos ustedes. De todos modos, va a haber un texto aquí abajo donde ustedes pueden entenderla perfectamente que está en inglés y debajo si tienen alguna pregunta o alguna consulta con mucho gusto se la vamos a responder. Entonces paso ahora a la conversación en inglés. Doctor Laisi, thank you so much for visiting us today and being here in Chicago. We are here in Chicago today and it's a pretty late at night but I got a hold of uh, Dr. Laisi so he can explain us about his device that he's presenting at the 44th conference of the DFI in Chicago, Illinois this week. My first question to you, Dr. Laisi, how did you come up with the idea of developing iPile and how do the technical engineers can use this device to save money to the client? So the idea was uh, pretty simple. Uh, it was like uh, using like many many other NDT tools. Uh, it's using uh, stress waves uh, to analyze uh, the quality and integrity of concrete materials. So the concept behind the technology is pretty simple. Uh, the use of the technology itself is what makes it like more valuable. Uh, what you can do with this sensor is actually uh, testing. Uh, testing foundations and piles for their quality, integrity, and to see if there is any major voids or cracks inside these elements. What is integrity testing? Now that you mentioned this word, what is this uh, technology? Okay, so imagine you are pouring a pile. Okay, so we are talking about elements which are like 20, 30 meters deep. Uh, they are like half a meter to, to 1.5 meter, maybe even larger in some cases uh, in diameter. Uh, anything can go wrong. Like your pump might, might stop, uh, like the, uh, the water amount like uh, in your concrete pour might be like uh, uh, excessive. Uh, and like your steel cage might be too like dense so the concrete doesn't pass like from the, uh, from the pile cage. Uh, so you will have like voids. Uh, you might have a mix of like soil and like uh, and concrete uh, creating poor patches. Uh, you can have like uh, a reduction in the cross section of your pile. You can have like increase in the cross section of your pile. So these are things that are generally referred to as integrity, integrity uh, of, uh, of a foundation and, uh, and a pile element. Uh, these defects uh, have the potential to, to, to impact the load bearing capacity of the pile uh, and uh, yeah that's basically how uh, you can use this device to identify some of these major defects. What is the real benefit of using this tool that it looks so simple without any connections? Can you explain us what is, what is in it for the people who use it and what are it, it, the outcome that they will get from using this uh, device. Absolutely. Uh, so iPile uh, is a is a sonic echo tester. So in principle, it is using uh, stress waves to to examine the integrity of uh, pile elements. What does it mean? It means like you have a wireless sensor, uh, you have a tablet that is replacing it like a old generation of like data logger. So uh, instead of like using those bulky equipments that you need to uh, upgrade them every couple of years, you have a tablet, you go with the market standards, uh, whatever improvement in the tablet, you don't touch this. You own the app. You can always get the latest version of the app. You put your sensor on the top of the pile and then you use your handheld hammer to strike the pile head. This creates a wave traveling inside the pile and then for a sound pile, for an intact pile, the reflections will come back from the pile toe. Now, if you have a pile that has a major void, major crack inside it, uh, you will get reflections coming back from those voids, okay? So this test uh, helps engineers in a cost-effective way 
uh, to identify if there are such such voids or defects inside their construction. So it actually helps them identify if the piles are problematic or not, if they are of good quality or not. This is a great opportunity that we have the inventor of this tool to ask him questions. So if you want to go and ask any questions, please don't forget to put them below. I have one more question before he goes to bed uh, because <laughs> tomorrow very early he's going to be at the conference in here in in the, in the Hilton in Chicago. The thing is, what is the benefit of this technique compared to the other techniques that we have at hand? For example, we have the cross hole, we have the thermal, we have the high strain impact testing. Uh, we could even have uh, uh, maybe uh, parallel seismic. Yeah. You know, so what is the real benefit that the user of this tool would gain from? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, again, that's a very good question, and uh, I've been asked many times, uh, why, why this one? Uh, why not the other one? <laughs> so it's uh, the main qu uh, the main uh, answer to this question is uh, like uh, putting the efforts and like uh, uh, the investment in terms of capital and time on uh, evaluating uh, the. Uh, integrity of a large number of piles. Uh, so in this context, I'll answer this question. Let's say, for example, we go with cross-hole uh, sonic uh, logging. Uh, what's the problem with this test? Like, it's, it's a beautiful test, it's, uh, it's great. Uh, like, apart from like some technical issues, like uh, doing, sending the sensors like at the same time, uh, the, the main uh, shortcoming of that particular test is it doesn't give you any information beyond the cage. So normally the tubes are installed inside the cage. It provides information between the tubes. It doesn't give any information beyond the cage. So where are the where the majority of the defects are located, which is outside the cage, and, and which is outside the cage because the concrete is poured from inside the cage. It, it wants to like flow beyond the cage. Okay. Uh, when you have a very dense uh, cage there is a very good chance that uh, the, the concrete doesn't flow. Like if, if, if it uh, stayed in the uh, concrete mixer for a long time, and then now you're pouring this concrete, then there is a good chance that uh, you, you will have like poor patches, like okay. voids and defects in your concrete. Now, what is the problem with thermal? Uh, thermal is actually a great test. Uh, I wouldn't, and, and I, I should correct myself, these are not problems, these are not shortcomings. It's just like, uh, putting them into perspective and trying to see uh, why, why we came up with this, with this one and not the other one, okay? Why, why we are trying to promote pile low strain pile integrity rather than like going and uh, promoting like uh, high strain uh, like uh, pile integrity testing. Uh, most people like in most uh, areas in the world, uh, we, we, we are trying to empower engineers in actually being able to evaluate uh, the integrity and quality of their foundations. So we are looking for a method that can easily be scalable, so in more engineers can adapt it, more engineering communities can talk about it. Uh, a pile dynamic analyzer, that's a very expensive equipment. Uh, it's just, just like done during construction, and although it provides absolutely great information about like the integrity of piles, you 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 can't use it everywhere, uh, simply because like the budget, like the, even the construction budget is limited. Uh, so uh, testing is a site uh, is something like uh, totally extra. Now talk going back to uh, thermal integrity, for example, it's a beautiful test. It provides information about the entire cross section, but implementation of like uh, thermal wires or like fiber optics is a is a very costly process compared to like pile integrity where you only have this sensor, uh, you only need to place it over the surface of concrete and then you impact it with your hammer and you go with your uh, tablet to analyze the data. So that is the beauty of it, like uh, cost effective, not in a sense that it is the cheapest, uh, cost effective in a sense that uh, in a reasonable period of time, you can test a large number of piles uh, with a relatively good, uh, good accuracy uh, if your results are like conclusive, and if your results are not conclusive, then you you will always have option to 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 employ another like test procedure that is like uh, uh, good for your case. 
I would say that this test maybe is the most cost effective, as you mentioned. Absolutely. Also, it's the one with the lowest capital investment. Yes. So you, you can do it all over the place. One of the things I find about this test, which is really, really good, is that you have European codes, which really help you to increase the pile structural strength. We have some videos about this in the channel. I will put them up here. Uh, you will see like a label and you can see that video on, on the structural strength. You can gain 30, 25, 30% of structural strength on a pile. So by performing a simple test, you can create really a lot of value for your customer. Also, you will know how is your pile and you can improve the way that you are operating. You can check your Tremi concrete. You can do a lot of interesting things to make our profession a little bit better every time. And uh, one more thing before, uh, before we leave this uh, conversation, Ignacio, and I think that's uh, very important for engineers to know. This test, uh, like Ignacio, <laughs> like uh, uh, did me a favor and said, like inventor of the test. No, absolutely, I'm not the inventor. So, like uh, other uh, genius engineers, uh, like over the past 30 years, have contributed a lot in developing this uh, this technology, this concept, the concept of sonic echo testing, the concept of like pile integrity testing. And uh, thanks to these uh, brilliant minds, uh, we 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 have come up. We have polished their ideas. We have tried to come up with a uh, like a, uh, intuitive uh, interface that uh, engineers can use to easily uh, perform the test. Okay. So working with signals is never an easy job. So we are not here to say like this is the easiest uh, the easiest device you will find in the market. No, uh, but we have tried to simplify things as much as possible. So this is simple enough uh, for engineers who have passed all those like uh, crazy courses in a school uh, to grab the idea to uh, to learn more to add some new piece of like knowledge to their uh, uh, to their uh, package uh, and it's a it's a very good tool to add as a service uh, as a service provider here in Canada like this has helped us like uh, grow into like business of like helping uh, our customers with uh, pile integrity testing, cool. promoting this as a service, uh, and the ROI uh, on this device is uh, relatively like uh, very good. Really, uh, like uh, uh, I'm not I'm not the best person to comment on that, but uh, talking mm -hmm. with uh, talking with my customers in like more than 20 countries mm -hmm. now, uh, we 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 have come to uh, to the conclusion that. Uh, uh, this is a device that uh, can can empower like uh, engineers, especially like young generation of engineers who who want to embrace change, uh, be creative, like uh, be apple of uh, their industry rather than using like uh, their old like heavy bulky data loggers in the field. Uh, this is the idea. Uh, it helps them like get the latest version of the app. Uh, anytime so whenever they we, we release an update they get this free of charge so this is these are the ideas uh, and uh, it comes with a fantastic technical support with our <coughs> excuse me with our like global partners uh, Ignacio is doing a, a very good job in uh, Spanish speaking countries in uh, South America and we are expanding this into other markets as well like in East Asia uh, in uh, Middle East, uh, so very uh, big updates coming uh, in a few months. What I'm going to be doing is that uh, I'm going to be creating another video tomorrow. I think that this is very interesting conversation, so anybody who would be interested in seeing the videos, at the end of the video you will see them over here on this side. And this is going to be, uh, I'm going to make some other questions. The next question I'm going to be making to you is, for you to show us how you interpret. That's the next one, and that's going to be tomorrow. Yeah, you should ask Farid for this one. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can no, bring him in no, online. I'm, I'm joking, like I can. And, I, uh, and we will, I also would like you to show us a report uh, on, on how you do it okay. you know, live. Absolutely. So tomorrow I'm going to be interview him inside the conference, and thank you guys for being here. Thank you. Bye-bye. And ciao. Bye-bye.